Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. And in this video, we'll learn about Agile software development in LabVIEW. Basically, this is a presentation I presented at the first CLA Summit in India, which was held in Bangalore. So this presentation will be of two parts. The first part will speak about Agile software development, introduction and principles. And then the second part will discuss about solid principles and object-oriented programming in LabVIEW. So let's start with the part one. This is the two-part video series. So let's uh, start with the issues with traditional method. For example, waterfall method is considered as a traditional method. Okay. So basically, Craig Lerman, the computer scientist, did this research. Uh, and uh, what he found out was like, for example, if we consider the number of projects being done in UK research, for example, in this figure we have 1,027. So among 1,024 projects, 87% of the projects failed, and 82% uh, consider that found out that the waterfall style was a major issue in their failure. Similarly, different uh, research also produced the same results. So uh, the assumptions behind the traditional method are, for example, uh, the requirements document is fixed, okay? It cannot be changed in the future. Uh, similarly, it might have like a fixed timeline, for example, the uh, project has to be delivered within three months or four months or something like that, and then the budgets are predicted in front, okay? So basically, uh, if we, we are considering about the waterfall method, then we have to assume that the previous uh, state has been perfected before we reach to the next state. So basically the result will lead to, when not com com uh, completed, uh, the features has to be removed, okay? So basically in other terms, for example, like uh, we have other issues like poor user interfaces, that means the user cannot actually interact, uh, the experience will be very bad. Uh, similarly, there will be usability versus features, for example, most of us use the social networking uh, websites and applications and everything. So we, all of we have seen that, all of us have seen that, that we rarely use all of the features. So why Agile? Now we already seen the limitations of the uh, traditional method like waterfall. So we are going to implement Agile because system can evolve with time. So unpredictability is the thing. For example, business requirements and lots of other factors may change. So what uh, the Agile is based on is the Agile Manifesto. In 2001, 17 software developers, they gathered in Utah and then what they did, did was they made a, an Agile Manifesto. For example, they will put the individuals and different kind of criteria before the like uh, hard and fixed rules that was given by the traditional method. So the most important part of the Agile method is the user story. Okay, basically user story according to the Robert C. Martin, who is also known in the uh, programming community as Uncle Bob, what he says is like, uh, we have to determine what the user wants and does to the application rather than, for example, fix things or something like that. So basically, when we know what will be the future of this or something like that, then we can make arrangements to protect our code from future change. So if we compare the traditional method and agile method, uh, as you can see, traditional method has a single long release and only a single feedback while Agile has got many feedback. So basically, this will be the advantage. So there will be more feedback points, much time with the client, much usability analysis, which will lead to decreased risk, less confusion, and better experience. Uh, now let's little bit discuss about the Agile Scrum process, okay? Uh, we'll not go into the depth, okay? Basically, for example, you have a large project, so what you do is we, you, you divide that large project into smaller parts. That is actually called like product backlog. And each product backlog will be separated into small manageable parts, okay? So each sprint backlog 
has got maximum uh, time uh, duration to completion will be up to two weeks, up to four weeks, which will be determined by the programmer or the developer. Okay, and uh, each day there will be a daily scrum meeting, which will uh, be checking the progress of the project. Okay, so uh, when we follow this agile scrum process, that means the product or the application is most of the time is always uh, shippable so like uh, there will be a workable code all the time so if we compare between the traditional and agile method okay uh, so we have already discussed that agile takes lots of hard works and resources but it is worth it because like uh, the application is or the project is always shippable so now let's consider another uh, numbers okay in this case, uh, we are discussing about the chaos report uh, that is published by the Ascendis group and only. Uh, in this case, we are comparing for the last uh, five years in which we are comparing the data from 10,000 projects. So as you can see, relatively, the Agile uh, method has been better, relatively better than the waterfall method. So let's uh, come to the summary of Agile methods. So like uh, basically we divide uh, the project into the concisely uh, smaller achievable plans, okay? And uh, this will unbundle the risk as well and then we'll be testing continuously. So basically Agile method is an iterative method, okay? Uh, so we'll add the functionality as we go and then we'll always put the highest priority in the beginning. Uh, this will help the Agile project to adapt to any change that may occur. So the result of the Agile is better application, a better interfaces, a better return on investment, and happy customer and happy developer. Because we focus mostly on the user story. If you want to learn more about the Agile development method, uh, the book I would like to recommend is the Agile and Iterative Development, a Manager's Guide by Craig Lerman. Uh, this is the first part of the two video series in the presentation. Uh, so we'll be discussing about the solid principles and object-oriented programming in LabVIEW, how we can implement the Agile development methods in LabVIEW. We'll discuss that in the next video. Please comment, share, and like the video. And please subscribe to this channel for further future LabVIEW videos. Thank you very much.